ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the uh, XP bar and how that uh, can scale up and expand as opposed to using a text-based XP ex experience point uh, visualiza visualization system. So if I jump into the game here, you'll notice in the top left we actually have that black bar, the one that's flashing there. Um, I can fix that flashing, uh, but basically what it does is, if I shoot this target, I now have 50% of the experience, and so as you can see, the XP bar up there actually fills up um, accordingly, as opposed to um, you know the tech. You've got the text-based system there in the middle of the screen from the previous tutorials as well. However, we've now also got this uh, this bar system, which is a lot more. It's more of the type of thing that you'd kind of find in uh, an MMO. So we're going to take a look at creating that. So what I'm going to do on my other screens, I should delete everything we've got here, and I'm going to go ahead, and we are going to create that from start. So let me just get rid of this stuff, and we'll drag this on over, and let's make a start. So the first thing we're going to want to do actually is open the first person HUD here. This is where most of the magic is going to happen. The math we're going to do inside the first person character, but the rest of that we're going to do in the rest of this we're going to do inside the first person HUD. Now the first thing we want to do is get a, a new custom event. Uh, and I'm just going to actually turn off my Facebook before it pings and annoys you all. So we're going to go custom event here. And we're going to call this custom event um, draw XP bar. So this is going to draw the experience bar. And this needs two variables on it. Uh, actually, no it doesn't. It needs one variable on it. And that's going to be a float. And this is going to be um, uh, bar amount. Now, uh, for the math side of this, I owe, first of all, a big thank you to my friend James, who sorted, sorted me out with the maths for this, because I have no clue what I was doing with the maths, I really didn't, and he really helped me through this, so big thanks to him, first of all. Um, so moving on from that, from the bar expert here, we're going to go on over to draw rect, and that's under the hood, we're going to draw a rectangle. And our experience bar is going to be 500 pixels long, which is the one that you saw in the video. Now, let me go through and explain these here. So, screen X refers to uh, screen X refers to uh, whereabouts your whereabouts your uh, rectangle is going to be drawn on the screen. So zero zero X and Y zero zero would be the very top left hand corner of my screen. So up here would be where my rectangle is going to be drawn. If I had X50, it would be fixed 50 pixels in, and if Y was 100, it would be 50 pixels in and 100 pixels down. So let's go ahead and put something crazy in like that. Let's just go and put 50 by 100. So we've got our XP bar, you know, in it set into the little bit of the screen. Let's go 50 50. This really doesn't matter. You can tweak around with this and put the XP bar just where you want. Just remember that it starts on the top left. So X is pixels across from the left, and then Y is pixels down from the top left. Now the width and the height refers to the width and the height of the bar in pixels again. So the height we're going to set to a definitive 10 and the width we're going to set that to 500. Now this is the black bar, so this is the background bar to the other bar. So there's, that's going to be very static. And in fact if we compile that now, oops, sorry about that. Um, if we compile that now, sorry I do need a, uh, a gate on here actually. I rushed ahead a bit there. However this is going to go into open and it won't start closed, and enter will come down off another sequence of the event received draw HUD. So if we compile this now, move that off the screen, and hit play, you'll see that we have that black bar positioned 50 pixels in and 50 pixels down. However, it doesn't do anything at the minute, so that's what we're going to do next. So bringing this back over, oops, sorry, bringing this back, bringing this back over, for the final time, <laughs> we now want to draw a second rectangle. So draw rect. Now this one is going to be the color of the XP bar, so let's go ahead and make it a really cool kind of red. Standard, I guess. So we're going to go red. So that's the color of the XP bar there. Now the screen X and screen Y, we want it to be the same as this one, so we're going to go 50 and 50. These two want to be the same, so that the bars start in the same place, and the height wants to be the same. However, the width is going to be dynamic, so that's what we're going to pass this bar amount variable over for. So at the minute, this will do absolutely nothing, which is why we need to go into the character now and figure out where the hell we're going to put this draw XP bar. So we're going to close out the HUD and open up the first person, not the game mode, but rather the first person character. 
move that onto the screen and again have issues doing so there we go move that onto the screen and if you've been following my tutorials you will have all of this kind of stuff around uh, around here with you so we'll move that out of the way um, basically what I want to do is this is being called constantly so this is my event tick so every frame it's actually calling and updating my level information which is the text version of what we're making here so I'm gonna go ahead and for, as I'm already casting to the first person hood here I'm gonna go ahead and draw XP bar which is the custom event we've just created so this will be called every single frame we're going to do this now the bar amount wants to be worked out using uh, this is the math that James kindly did for me so we want to take our current XP and our XP to the next level and we want to take our current XP and we want to divide that number by the XP needed to get to the next level so let's say my current XP is 100 and I need 650 to get to the next level so 100 divided by 650 would give me 0.15 now to get that as a percentage I need to times that number by 100 fantastic now to get that as a percentage of the bar I need to times that number by 5 which would give me a percentage of the bar and we can hook this now up to here we hit compile and hopefully nothing happens so <laughs> now we jump back and as always get pretty embarrassed about this but uh, we can figure this out so we'll stop this and I think what the my biggest problem there was that I didn't convert these to a float so because we are working with points or 15 point not three something or whatever we do need to convert these to a float so current XP is going to go on over to a float and the XP to the next level is going to become a float. And we're going to do the same piece of math, however, with them as a float. So current XP divided by, not by a vector, what the hell? We want a float divided by float. So current XP divided by XP needed to get to the next level. Then we're going to times that number float by float by 100. And then we're going to times that number float by float by 5 which gives us a nice float which we can hook into here compile and now hopefully the draw XP bar is there let's just double check what we've got going on in the view hood to make sure that that's not um not me because I didn't actually see the black bar pop up there uh, start close was false let's open now hopefully and I'm saying hopefully oh I've clicked on the tutorial there we can uh, exit that Oh, there we go. Now our bar starts to fill up. Sorry, so we needed to do that as a float there because we're working with numbers that aren't whole numbers. So we've now got our XP bar that displays the whole black bar and we can... This text that's blue in the middle of the screen, you could reposition that so it's over the bar with a bit of tweaking and playing around with that. Um, so yeah, if you go back to the video where we created that, in fact I'll just quickly show you now. On the text here, instead of having this screen X and screen Y basically we can say okay we're 50 pixels down so instead let's go 150 divided by 2 is 250 let's take this in at 200 pixels across and down by 50 pixels compile set oh that's not what I wanted it was this one that I wanted so 200 pixels and 50 pixels down with a scale of 1 and a font color let's do it in white I suppose Compile that. Oopsie daisies. I've mixed those tabs up, so I hit play. And that text is now behind that because of the sequence that we draw that in. So if I jump back into the hood again and kind of reverse the sequence, so what's this? This is being drawn first. So we'll draw, we'll draw the bars first. And we will draw this last which should now hopefully put the text on top of the bar it's not lined up right but you get the idea there and we can see our XP go up you could even change those numbers to be a percentage or whatever you want to do so that's how you go ahead and create an XP bar and that's how you'd move the text over it you could tweak around with that XP bar make it bigger make it thicker so that it uh, kind of lines up right with that I'm just trying to have a little bit of a play around here let's make it uh, 15 pixels compile it again and hopefully now we have a pretty nice looking XP bar there.
that fills up and we've got a text over it. So thanks again for watching this tutorial. I will be continuing more. I know we're starting to kind of stray away from the leveling system now, but at the same time it's kind of all tied back in with leveling. The HUD elements, the actual leveling, the levels going up to passing the elements to the other things and that. And next I'm going to be taking a look at uh, the amount of damage reduced. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding health to this box. Uh, health automatically regenerates and I'm going to be making my attacks get stronger the, the higher the levels I get up. So stay tuned if you'd like to see that video and once again guys stay subscribed for more Unreal Engine 4 content and I'll see you in the next video.